Welcome back my friends. This is video number four of our series Understanding Cleaning Chemicals and today we're talking about cleaners versus disinfectants aka products that kill germs and bacteria. Despite what you may think, cleaning is not disinfecting and disinfecting is not cleaning. Cleaning is soil removal, nothing more. So you have grease on the countertop, you remove the grease. You go wipe up the pee from the toilet seat, that is cleaning. Killing germs and bacteria is something entirely different. The professional way of doing things is to clean a surface first, then go back and disinfect so that the germs and bacteria can't reproduce. So it's a two-step process. In 2019, you can actually buy products that do both at the same time. So a product that cleans with a disinfectant built into it. That is awesome. Let's just refer to these products as pink unicorns. Allow me to show you a few examples, and then we'll get into actually how to properly disinfect. This right here is Pine Soul. This is a multi-surface cleaner and deodorizer. It has absolutely no disinfectant built into it whatsoever. So, it is true that you will wash away a lot of the germs and bacteria, but if you wanted to kill the remaining germs and bacteria on the surface, you would need to follow this up with a disinfectant afterwards. This is an example of a disinfectant, okay? Disinfectant wipes. This has absolutely zero cleaning power whatsoever. This is an example of a disinfectant spray. Again, zero cleaning power whatsoever, but 100% disinfectant power. Kills viruses that cause colds and flus. An example of a liquid disinfectant would be bleach, one of the cheapest and greatest disinfectants of all time. Here's an example of a product that does both at the same time. This is our pink unicorn, my friends. Comet spray, bathroom cleaner dissolves soap scum and hard water film, so it's removing our soil and the disinfectant built into it. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So you say, Tommy, what exactly are we trying to kill here? What are the names of some of these micro world menaces? Do you really expect me to pronounce some of these words? I'm a cleaner and a German antagonist, not a world renowned linguist. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, if you really want to disinfect properly, you just follow the instructions on the actual products themselves. A general rule of thumb is when you apply disinfectant to a surface, you have to let it dwell and sit on that surface for at least 10 minutes. It's got to have time to go in there and actually work and do its job, do its magic, win the war, fight the fight, if you will. Another important thing you need to know is not all disinfectants are created equal. And this isn't just opinion, this is actual scientific fact. It's been proven with numerous studies that out of the three common household disinfectants, so you have bleach, hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, only, and I need to stress this, only bleach has been proven to be effective at killing everything. Vinegar and hydrogen peroxide, not so much. Do they work? Yes. But are they as good as bleach? Not even close. Bleach is effective at killing all forms of foodborne bacteria. So if you cut a piece of chicken on the, you know, the cutting board, you would want to clean it afterwards. Chicken's famous for carrying salmonella. Also, raw chicken, I should say. Also, it's been proven to be effective against viruses. So, someone in the house has had the stomach bug. They're going around, they're touching the toilets and the doorknobs and the cabinet hand, the drawer handles or whatever. You need to kill that virus. Bleach has been proven to be the go-to disinfectant. If you want to make your own DIY disinfectant with bleach, just mix a half tablespoon of bleach with a half gallon of water. Put in a spray bottle and that is great for your general purpose use in your kitchens and in your bathrooms. Now if someone in the house has actually been sick and you need to actually kill viruses, you're going to need a little bit more power behind that punch. So in that case you'd want to use three tablespoons of bleach with a half gallon of water. Stick that in your spray bottle and then use that and you'll be good to go. So that's it guys. This concludes our lecture on cleaners versus disinfectants. I hope that it was valuable for you and you learned something. If you liked the video, why don't you consider giving it a big clean with confidence thumbs up. Really helps us out. Also, subscribe to the channel for more great content. And until next time, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.